Let's head over here to the first game. We're going to the streets of Miami here. We have the Heat here, Land Six versus the LA Clippers in this one, guys. Total sitting at 213 and a half here, Ski. Uh, you like it to play in this one, my guy. I know my my guy, Mr. Rest Advantage here. What you like in here, Ski? Yeah, this one is, you know, if I look at the recent performance numbers, um, it, it's not going to coincide with this play. It's going to tell me that the Clippers have been better, um, et cetera, et cetera. But the reason I want to play the Heat tonight, um, since 2015, unrested road dogs off a road overtime game. They are 5-16 and 16 against the spread, 23.8%. Just not a good spot for these Clippers tonight. And they're also 16-5 and five, um, to the over. And my bad, this stat is when their opponent is off for a loss, like Miami. So they should be pissed off what they lose by 20 the last game versus the Pistons. And I just think it's, if they can't win this game, you know, what is Miami even doing here? So I like the Heat minus the six. And I like the over uh, 213 and a half. I like it. I like it. Yeah, that's something I like to say. Man, what are we even doing here? So, Josh, we do have the Clippers here. Third game in four nights, plus a back-to-back on the road as well. And they went to overtime last night versus the Magic. Uh, I believe Kawhi is already ruled out here. PG did say he's going to play. They are only 2-5 and five against the spread last seven games, though, Josh. Um, do you think that the Heat can can get it done here? They're trying to back, back uh, bounce back off two straight losses. Uh, I'm, I'm still kind of mad from the other day. Uh, but it's all good, Josh. What you think about this Heat team, man? Yeah, I'm with you. I'm still holding a heat uh, grudge on the Heat, so I don't want to get involved with them whatsoever. But at the same time, I think uh, the number's starting to climb a little bit higher. The only counter I would have on, on the Clippers in this situation is it's a back-to-back, but, I mean, they're getting three guys back who did not play at all yesterday. John Wall, Marcus Morris, Luke Kennard, all pretty uh, important rotation pieces that didn't play the first leg of a back-to-back at all. Um, Paul George might play again. He says he's going to play again, and he, you know, his his minutes were capped, so he didn't play a single minute of overtime yesterday either. So, I mean, in the same sense that you know we were talking about this with Dallas at Denver the other day when they were on a back to back and a three and four, it's not the traditional uh, penalty you'd sort of give those teams because the minutes aren't quite what we're necessarily used to for a lot of the starters having to absorb. Uh, so you might get a fresher Clippers team than what I think you'd expect in this spot. It's also why I also lean towards the over here as well. I think that there's a, an avenue for both teams to score. Miami, 29th in the league in opponent three-point frequency. And we know that the Clippers love to space the floor. We know, you know, like I said, they're getting Morris and Kennard back in particular. Paul George, if he plays, they're going to have plenty of guys that can space the floor as well and going to take advantage of those open looks when they come. So points absolutely could be on, on offer here in this game. I definitely lean towards the over. If it ticks down any lower than where it currently is, I'll probably buy in on that as well. Um, but but ultimately, no bet for me officially. I do lean slightly towards the Clippers at plus six and towards the over. Yeah, that's a good point there. Definitely, definitely seems like a low total, man, for today's NBA as well. Uh, we know that the Heat, I know for the Heat side, Lowry is out in this one, but you never know. Obviously, some other guys could step up in this one. Heat like to shoot a lot of threes as well. They do play some good defense, but if they're knocking down those threes, man, this one could definitely sell over. Uh, you look at this, the Clippers only 2-6 and six against the spread last eight road games versus winning home teams as well. So they hadn't really been playing well. Um, I'm sure they expected that game to be a little bit easier yesterday as well. And end up losing in overtime to the Orlando Magic, guys. So, uh, but uh, like I said, Heat, they got a lot of stuff going on as well. But my guy Ski rocking with the Heat minus the six here in this one. Um, obviously, they have the major race advantage and the over 213 to have. Uh, definitely seeming like the nice play there. Josh even leaning towards that over as well. So, definitely couldn't talk you off there, my guy Ski. 